Welcome back to the studio, friends. Today we're going to be fixing and upgrading the Bowden tube on my 3D printer. If you hear noises over in the corner, it's our new puppy. She wants to be in the shot a little bit. This is our new puppy, Ada, named after Ada Lovelace. And she's a rescue, part Great Pyrenees, part Australian Shepherd, we think. We're not sure exactly what all is in here. She just wanted to say hello. She's growing really quickly, so in the upcoming videos, you'll probably be able to see how quickly she's growing. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss her progress. She's a little camera shy right now. But the issue we're going to be fixing today is the little valve that holds on to the Bowden tube. It broke on the extruder side back here in the back. So the Bowden tube popped out of the valve. So I needed to order a pack of those valves. But when I was looking on Amazon, I found this pack that also comes with a Capricorn replacement Bowden tube. So this one is supposed to be one of the better replacements for a generic PTFE Teflon tube. So I'm gonna be replacing it and seeing how well it works. Now this pack does say it's made for Creality, but most 3D printers in this price range especially use a lot of the same parts anyways. So these little pneumatic valves here will work on most 3D printers. All you have to do is unscrew them. You'll probably need some pliers. Unscrew them on both sides. Along where the Bowden tube runs, there's also a bundle of wires. And I think these zip ties along the, that bundle I'll be able to reuse, but just in case I do have some backup zip ties in case I do need to cut them and replace them. Went ahead and cut the Bowden tube because it was getting in the way. And as you remove the old valve, you can see just how far the old tube goes into the hot end. It's as simple as unscrewing the old one and screwing in the new one. make it snug with some pliers. So now for a bit of the unscientific test I wanted to run. The difference between the original tube, it slides pretty well in there. There is a bit of give though. There's definitely some wiggle room inside this tube. And that's some of the claim that the Capricorn tube makers say that you won't have that same amount of wiggle room. I definitely see what they're talking about. This Capricorn tubing is really smooth for the filament to slide in and out from. There's minimal resistance on there because it is so slippery the filament can just slide through it but there's way less tolerance in there. I can immediately see it like visually with my eyes it's that obvious that the filament really fills the internal extrusion of the tube. I'd seen all the images online but I wasn't sure exactly how much to believe. Once I install this I'll have to run some tests and it does work to leave these zip ties on here from the previous one. I'm just able to reuse, re-thread it through where the previous Bowden tube was. And luckily, there might be, I don't know if there's a full double of what I need, but there's definitely extra. So if it ever breaks or something, there's a possibility I could reuse it later. And just screwing in the valve on the extruder side of things. Now that's the one that always breaks on me because I found no other way to swap out filament than to release the valve, pull out the Bowden tube, and then pull out the filament that way. I wish there was a better way to change the filament. So if anyone knows, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear a better solution than what I've been doing because I really don't like replacing these. This kit also comes with a Bowden tube cutter. So since I have it, I'm gonna go ahead and use it. It should cut a little bit more straight. That was nice and easy. This clip has enough pressure. You put your tube in there, close it down on there, and then just run it in a circle until it cuts it and it leaves a nice straight clean cut. Press the Bowden tube into the other side and that is a full replacement. Now we're rocking the beautiful dark blue purple color instead of this generic white that came with the original. That was way easier than I thought it was going to be. But let me run a print real quick and then we can compare similarities with the previous tubing and with this new tubing on there. But let me take this and start printing. And now it's been overnight, you can tell I've shaved, but the print is done. It turned out honestly pretty similar to previous prints I've recently done. These are cases for my top-down lighting rig. I'll link the video up here, you can check it out after this one. But I'm only using PLA filament here. I don't have any flexible filament on hand at the moment. And I do wonder if flexible filament would print better with a nice solid Bowden tube. Now this is just a theory and I can't really test it yet. 
but I think since PLA is a fairly stiff filament, it does fine with the generic tube. And I've been having fine prints anyway. I didn't replace this Bowden tube because I was having an issue. It's because these valves broke on me and I thought might as well buy it in a bundle and save a few bucks. But the prints are turning out as good as they were before and that's all I can really ask for. A few things I did want to note for those of you who stuck around this far in the video, make sure you press this part of the Bowden tube all the way down in there. If you get a rough print initially, it could be because this isn't all the way seated down in the hot end. Also, the other things in this bundle won't work for the Anycubic Mega like I have, but they will work if you have an Ender 3 or maybe some other printers by Creality. The first one are these smaller valves. These work on other printers that have a different valve for the extruder end and the hot end end of the Bowden tube. The other thing are these silicon hot end socks. So these normally would go over your hot end and these help insulate your hot end as you're melting filament, but this one doesn't fit my printer, so it's not useful for me. But really, I just bought this bundle for the valves and this Capricorn tubing. But so far it's working really great and I look forward to a lot of successful prints in the future. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions about this upgrade or have any tests you would like me to run on this system. And if anyone was wondering why I printed this number, this is the number of subscribers I had when I became a full-time YouTuber. And I'm gonna put it up on the wall in this studio so I can remember it by. So if you wanna help me out, the big thing you can do is hit that like and subscribe button down below. But anyway, I hope you guys have an amazing day out there. Go out and create something amazing and let me know what you make in the comments down below. But I'll see you in the next video.